In 1988, many separatists began armed insurgency in Kashmir in the name of freedom. These separatists targeted and mercilessly killed many prominent mainstream political personalities and innocent Kashmiri pundits. And one of the major conspirators who was responsible for such mass killing was Yasin Malik. A pro-Pakistan separatist and Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front leader, Yasin Malik has recently pleaded guilty before a Delhi court in cases of terror financing and sectionist activities in Kashmir. A report. For three decades, Kashmir has been struggling to get normalcy. There are several park-backed elements who have been misleading Kashmiri youths and are responsible for mass killings in the valley. One of the perpetrators, Yasin Malik, on May 10th, pleaded guilty to all the charges before a Delhi court, including those under the Stringent Unlawful Activities and Prevention Act. The separatist was arrested by National Investigation Agency back in 2019 in a case related to terrorism and secessionist activities in Kashmir that convulsed the valley in 2017. Exactly one month after separatist leader Muhammad Yasin Malik was arrested, the centre on Friday banned his party, the Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front, for supporting extremism and militancy and indulging in anti-national activity. There were many others, including Yasin Malik, who were registered in 2017 for raising, receiving and collecting funds to fuel separatist and terrorist activities, being part of a conspiracy to cause disruption in the Kashmir Valley and waging war against India. The justice system has caught up with this man who has been instrumental in sending a lot of youngsters to their deaths, proclaiming that yes, Kashmir will become Azad and on the lines of what Pakistan ISI has been instructing him. The money he has been receiving from Pakistan has been distributed to all these people, to the stone pelters and others over there. This man has been portrayed as a man of messiah of peace. The killing of Air Force personnel where squad leader Surinder Khanna and his associates were gunned down by this man in cold blood. That is still going on. So this is just one. The other cases are on and I am sure that finally this man will hang to death. Though JKLF chief Malik claimed that he wants Kashmir to be separate from both India and Pakistan. An investigation report prepared by the NIA alleges he was in touch with Pakistan's ISI and had received funds from Islamabad to foment trouble in the valley and amassed properties worth more than 15 crore rupees. The NIA alleges Malik got 15 lakh rupees from Watali on April 7, 2015 and that some of the money was used to fuel the unrest in the valley after the killing of Hezbollah Mujahideen commander Burhan Wani in 2016. The pro-Pakistan sympathizer has been the voice and face of the Pakistan terror establishment. In the year 2013, Malik shared the stage with 2611 mastermind Hafiz Saeed to mourn the execution of parliament attack conspirator Afzal Guru. So for all his protestations of wanting Kashmiri independence, it turns out that Yasin Malik is just hand in glove in the ISI like we all knew. Uh, what we need to remember is the ISI uses this sort of separatism question, that is the independence of Kashmir from both India and Pakistan, essentially to weaken any sections that oppose it. Remember, maybe say one third support joining Pakistan, one third support joining uh, 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 India, one third support uh, 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 independence. If you keep saying Pakistan, Pakistan, you'll have a 66% vote against you. So this entire campaign for independence has been orchestrated by Pakistan. And we just know that it's now out in the open now that uh, Yasin Malik has pleaded guilty on where his loyalties actually lay. According to the NIA, Malik was involved in terror funding through various illegal means including Hawala transactions for funding separatist and terrorist activities in Jammu and Kashmir. Malik was also the mastermind behind the purging of Kashmiri pundits from the Kashmir Valley 
and was responsible for their genocide in which hundreds of pundits were killed, raped and tortured in a way that the country had never seen before. He led the mobs in destroying and burning government buildings and schools and in attacking security forces. Malik has always maintained that he is proud of the fact that he took up the gun and not even once has he expressed remorse for his actions and never condemned the reign of terror unleashed by other terror groups. In the name of freedom struggle, Yasin Malik had set up an elaborate structure and mechanism across the world to raise funds for carrying out terrorist and other unlawful activities in Jammu and Kashmir. <laughs>